USS Monitor, a ship whose design and success heralded the beginning of a new era in naval warfare. But every sailor knows it's the crew that makes a good ship. I take that to also mean explore a ship and you may get to know her crew. Every expedition to Monitor is a trip back in time, and on this trip we'll go places that few have been, where we'll see things that were last seen on the night she went down. Today, the USS Monitor lies 18 miles east of Cape Hatteras under 235 feet of often angry seawater. But going back in time to Monitor is not easy. She's deep, and that requires training, determination, a good dive team, and a lot of gear. Technical diving is a wonderful combination of art and science. And that's none more apparent than when you walk around on the first day of an expedition like this one. Breathing gases are analyzed, pressures are tested, and the equipment is configured, all in preparation for what is to come. Every diver on this expedition will be entering the water with hundreds of pounds of gear that cost them thousands of dollars. They're all very different people. They come from all over the world, all different walks of life, to fulfill dreams, meet with ambitions, or simply just have a good time diving with friends. Seems pretty good. Simple rebreather. I basically use a jeep of rebreathers. Yeah. Yeah. Make contact with this one. You go down. The current here can get the fault. Yeah, things can cut away and charge the engine. As many aspects of the dive as possible are planned and discussed, but you can't plan for everything. The coastal waters forecast for Pamlico Sound. Gale warning now in effect from 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time this morning through Thursday morning. Today, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots becoming south 30 to 40 knots. Wave heights 1 to 2 feet building to 3 to 5 feet this afternoon. Blowout days are never good, but all good divers adapt to and overcome conditions. Tomorrow is another day. The weather is calm, the boat is loaded, and everybody's ready for a dive. But this is the graveyard of the Atlantic. We're going to poke our nose out, see what it's looking like. Uh, if it's snotty, we may go look at something else. All right, we'll adjust the plan accordingly. Um, let's assume we're going to get our monitor and just got some stuff. Our mooring team experiences over two knots of current blowing across monitor. So we opted to make the alternative dive and divert south to the shallower, more protected waters around the Dixie Arrow. One of my favorite things about the famous Dixie Arrow is not the artifacts, but the sea life that lives all around it. There have been days where virtually every fish on the wreck has been feeding, like in a frenzy. This dive not only turned out to be fun and exciting, but served as an excellent shakedown dive for the entire team.
Among some of my favorite inhabitants of the Dixie Arrow are the rays and the sharks. These are sand tiger sharks. They come to the Outer Banks to mate. The Outer Banks is an optimal breeding ground for these magnificent animals, and likely you won't go on a wreck dive here without seeing a few of them. Slow moving and graceful, to swim close to one is almost hypnotic. Despite diving the alternate site, we all went back with smiles on our faces. But we're here for one thing, and she'll be waiting out there for us tomorrow. The mooring team successfully establishes a tie-in, and that opened the door for the rest of us to begin our initial work on the wreck. Like an annual visit to family or friends, it was a special treat and an indescribable feeling to be back diving on the USS Monitor once again. Personally, I was happy to see that much of the deteriorating ship remained just as we had left it the year before. And it felt so good to see all the familiar landmarks, like the turret support truss and the midship's bulkhead that holds the only remaining standing doorway. The galley stove, although upside down, looks like it could be put back into service any day. to look at personal artifacts or tools and not think of the crew. Wonder, who was the last to use it and what for? Mixed in with all the familiar sights, there were some new and unexpected artifacts, like the salinity test kit found among the engine room parts. For some, it was their first visit to Monitor, but I'm certain it will not be their last. In all, it was a spectacular first day on Monitor, and by the end of the expedition, the entire team had become much closer to her crew. <laughs>